Hello YouTube and welcome to Antirxon Gaming. In today's video I wanted to show you how to create an open beta for a game called Skyforge on a Russian server. So this is something that a lot of people have been asking for because uh, unlike the English version where you actually have to purchase uh, the uh, the early access game or version of the game and you actually have to pay for the open beta, the Russian version is absolutely free. So if you're actually on the fence about the game and you just kind of want to decide if you, you know if you want to uh, if you like it, if you if it's, if it's worth the money, if you actually want to buy it, this might be a way for you to do this. And to do this, you will actually need to register for a Russian account using um, a Russian mail service as well. So I'm going to show you, show you exactly how to do this, starting with a website called mail.ru, because you actually need an account on that particular site bef uh, before you can start playing the game. So let's actually go ahead and I'm going to open it right here. So this is mail.ru. Uh, go to this website, it's sort of similar to, I guess, Gmail, but a little bit more complex in its appearance, uh, it has a lot more stuff going on here. So uh, this is my old account, I'm going to actually make a completely new account. So this is what you do, you press this button right here. Obviously you can use uh, Google Translate if you have this function on your browser. I do as well, but I'm actually going to be using something different. I'm going to be just doing it from scratch, just to show you how, how to do this step by step. So click on this, and you will get... Uh, something any minute now any minute i am playing from far away so there is actually uh there's a bit of a lag here and also at the same time you may want to open another window which i have right here as well this is another website called translate.ru or .net t uh tr here i'm going to show it to you right here if i lower the window actually it's written right here translate.net or .ru so what this does is every time you type something in english for example if i type uh and t-rex on it will actually translate it into into Russian letters, into uh, into Cyrillic letters, and this is what you will need to create both the account on mail.ru and inside the game. So, I would just suggest maybe writing something just so it's in Russian letters, and then copy pasting this, saving it in here so that you actually have this particular word saved. Now we're gonna go in here. This is a registration for mail.ru. Now this is your name that you actually have to use Russian letters for. You can obviously, you know, write your own name differently. So let's just say your name is Bob. Uh, Bob, and copy this, paste it in here. And your family name, this is right here. Your family name is going to be, of course, Putin. And this is Bob Putin. Now this is actually really interesting. Inside the game, do not use this for some reason. I don't know why. Actually, I do know why, but it's funny because you cannot use Putin in in the game. It's actually one of the banned words. It's it's a protected word apparently, so you cannot be Putin, which really uh, makes me wonder if they're gonna do the same in the English release of the game. I'm gonna definitely name my first character Obama just to see if it works. Uh, this is your birthday, so uh, month. Sorry, uh, day, month, and year. Just, I'm, I'm gonna enter randomly now this is hard this is gonna be hard so here this is where you enter the city now it says it's not needed but it may ask you sometimes it doesn't work if you don't enter it so this is how you basically write Moscow and the easiest way to do to find out how to write Moscow in um, in, in Russian is basically to wiki it go on wiki uh, Wikipedia Moscow and you'll see it right here somewhere where is it no maybe not here if you open the wiki, it's, it's going to say it on the right side. Just copy paste the name. Uh, where is it? There's definitely a Russian name here somewhere. Uh, there we go. That's it. So copy this and I'll enter it here. So I'm going to copy and paste the city. And oh, and it's going to ask you. So choose the specific city. This is it. This is the one you want. Now, this is your gender male on the left, female on the right. Doesn't really matter. And uh, this is what uh, what you would <laughs> I can be Bob Putin. Awesome. Uh, this is your uh, email account name. So you'll need to remember what this is. I'm actually going to choose something easy. I guess I'll just choose Antirox on two at mail.ru and your password. So this is where you type your password uh, two times. It has to be the same password. Uh, it's telling me it's not very strong. So I'm going to actually add a few numbers to it. Uh, all right. And finally, this is your mobile number so your phone number actually for some countries has to be um has to be real because they may actually send you a notification number so i'm gonna uh i'm gonna choose i'm gonna choose my own actual number and then i'll skip this part and show you because i don't want to show you my real number so i'm gonna skip this part and show you what happens afterwards 
And the thing is, you are going to get a code. If you enter an actual mobile number, if you enter a phone number, you will get a code sent to you uh, from the company. This is where you enter it. So I'm going to enter it right now. It's, I think it's 32689. 32689. And then this is what you press afterwards. And there you go. So we will now logged in into our mail account. So now we have mail.ru. You don't have to really do anything here. You can just click this button because it's basically asking you to import your uh, contacts from other uh, mail accounts, but you're not going to be using this. Uh, so, you know, just save your passwords and get rid of this window. So this is, this is it for creating a mail account. As long as you have your mail written right here, you're in, you can start the game download and so on and so forth. Now make sure to save the, the name that you actually saved. I'm going to type NTRX on again, save this, copy paste it because in the game, it will be a little bit different. You'll actually, uh, you need to enter a Cyril Cyrillic name as well, but so your nickname has to be in Cyrillic, but the thing is you want to be able to really go back and forth. So just save it. So then what you're going to do is go uh, to the game website, which is of course, of course, right here, this is sf.mail.ru. So sf.mail.ru, or you can just look up Skyforge Russian or something like that. Now here's what you'll see on this website. So it kind of looks like this. Um, is this right here, big red button, do not press that. It basically says buy uh, the sp special version or something like that. Basically the early access that gives you bonuses. This is what you want to press. This right here is download. So you want to download the game, but also you want to log in. So you want to log in right here by, you know, typing your, uh, your actual account name. So I'm going to use my old account and I'm going to click on this button to log in and this will allow me to access the all right so this is what you're going to see you might not actually have anything here uh because this is my character and her name is anna putin because putin was not allowed but i wanted to rebel against the authorities and have a name that i really wanted so download the game click on this it will give you um the download files and then one so you'll see this this is basically the download uh, uh, page and right here, the big red button here is download the game. So click on this and this will download Skyforge installation file. It's about six megs, uh, not, not very big, but uh, it will get bigger. So it's actually very, very large download. You may need to wait a few hours before you can finish downloading it uh, once you open this up. So I'm going to open it up and show you what the actual window looks like. So this is what you'll see. It's going to have, uh, it's actually going to, it's going to start automatically. It's going to ask you to log in. I'm going to see if I can show you what it looks like actually. Okay. So you may see something like this. This is the authorization window. So I'm going to type my, uh, account information here. And obviously, um, this is where you want to log in, but here's the thing. The left button is, uh, accept the right button is cancel. So just a little bit different from, from the English uh, version. So click this. Oh, and this has to be, this has to be email. Yeah, this has to be an email format. So there we go. And so the, there will might be actually another button right here that you may have to click just to install the game. This actually, this, this part is very, very intuitive. So basically there's a big green button. You press it, you wait for it to download. You see the bar downloading and then you enter the game. So I'm going to click this and show you what it looks like afterwards inside the game, because you need to also register in, um, in the game as well. Okay, and once you enter the game, this is what you're going to see, Skyforge, there's, it's going to tell you to press space, so just do that. And uh, it's going to load a few screens and then you'll get to make your first character. And this is what I'm going to be doing right now. Uh, just wait a little bit until it loads. And right off the bat, it's going to give you an, a, sort of like a tutorial and introduction here. I'm going to skip this part. I don't really have a name yet and my name is just Recruit. Uh, so you do have to go through the tutorial before you can actually acquire appearance and also uh, a name. So I'm going to see if I can skip this part and just to show you what it, what happens afterwards. All right, looks like I actually have to finish the tutorial before I can even show you how to create a character. And this is actually going to take at least 20 minutes. So what I'm going to do is in the next video, uh, I'm going to sh basically play through this and then show you how to uh, essentially make uh, a character. Uh, but you can see I'm already in the game. It plays just fine. I'm playing from outside of Russia, so it's not actually region locked. And uh, this this is actually a pretty interesting game. It's a, it's an, sort of like an active skill-based, uh, combat-based slash uh, instance-based MMORPG. 
quite different uh, from other MMORPGs I've played. Not as complex as some of the other ones, but still worth your try. But So if you want to try this for free, as in you want to try the open beta for free without paying for the English version, this is one way of doing it. Uh, and I currently uh, save the Russian spelling of my name so that I can actually enter it right there. You can see it on the left side there. I, I can enter it as soon as it asks me for my name. This is what I'm going to name my character. So anyway, this is going to be the next video. Hopefully this video was clear and now you know how to make a mail.ru account and also start Skyforge and make it run on your system. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and check out the next part where I'm going to be basically playing through the tutorial and show you the rest of the game. Bye bye.